have all the proof we need. We should be able to enter the Overlord's castle now. Time to make our way over. Let's go, team! We know how your game is played. We've got everything we need. Let's use the proof and open that gate. Guys. Hold on. It's likely the Overlord's retainer is waiting for us inside. It's sure to be a difficult fight. Let's be on our guard. Uh, do you think there's more like the fearsome core in there? Don't worry, Panther. I won't let them hurt you. Okay, let's go. All right. Get hit. Now we can heal at least a better heal than the regular pixie. The brave heroes approach their foe. Who goes there? Who dares disturb my slumber? Oh crap, we got another one. And what's up with the narrating? Silence Wells! I am his excellency, the Overlord Retainer. Dora. My liege's castle lies just beyond. Lowly humans such as yourselves have no place in its hallowed halls. Your end is at hand. Prepare yourselves, you foolish, repulsive looking creatures. That, that's surprising that you would say that. Back up. Pretty, that's pretty quick. To be defeated by such utterly grotesque You were a fierce opponent, Overlord's Retainer. <laughs> Go on then, chosen heroes. My master is all Okay. It's on here. Yeah. 
Sure thing, guy. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? Okay, we've made it inside. Let's keep up the pace. Oh boy, I can see it. Kind of scary in here. There should be a path forward somewhere around here. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, it's gotta be down here. Nearby shadow detected. <laughs> I want to get inside. Like at least a little more challenge. Good stuff, guys. Keep it coming. That's the vent there. Huh. Ah! Oh, a treasure chest! Lucky up. Hey, Joker, what did you find? SP increase. Oh, cool. I'll take it. Happen like a couple of seconds out of the battle. Flash bomb. Let me see. Medium physical damage to a wide uh, area of foes. Okay. Wait. Medium chance to inflict dizzy. Light physical damage to an area of foes. This is medium physical damage to a wide area. And this is just an area. Hmm. I mean, we don't need all of the... Uh, I don't know. I don't really like physical attacks because they do take your HP. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh, look, a new move. Medium psych damage. To an area. There you go. the pace, shall we? Nothing on my radar. Looks like we're safe for now. Ooh, focus. This is very palace-like. Don't get cocky! Try me! Oh god. Get away! Get away from me! Gosh. 
Weakness ice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. No shadows detected here. There's nothing else in here for me to collect. How far along are we now? We're only about halfway up. It's gonna be a while before we get to the top. Guess we'll want to keep an eye on our health and stuff. Is this a room for me to prepare for something? Don't move. Great. that oh there's something down there nope yeah. I see a treasure chest maybe there's something good inside oh, Why don't we see what that is? I don't trust this place. I think we can ambush them. What's our plan? something down here oh jesus uh -oh. I think on Great. be more alert from now on definitely miss the chest We're almost to the top floor just a little bit further guys to get out of here. Back up. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. What 
Trying to get up on the chandelier. Easy. Had no, no problems. Shadows. At least not right up ahead. Quick one up there. Back in Shibuya. Does this mean that bastard Natsume is kicking it somewhere inside? I'd like to say we should just bust our way in, but how does it look, Sophie? It looks like it's still locked. We'll need someone to touch it so we can hear the voices in his heart. Okay then. You're up, Skull. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't seem right to ask Sophie to do it. Oh, but it's cool if I do it? Come on, Skull. You're, you know, uh, tough. And he's already experienced it once before. If anything, he's the ideal candidate. <sighs> Just my luck, I guess. At least buy me a bowl of ramen or something once we're done, yeah? I could do it if you want. Yeah, it's cool. I got it. Thank you, Skull. I think someone his age would have at least some talent. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing voices all right. These voices are somehow related to Natsume's emotional scars? Most likely. We just need to listen to the conversation and figure out the source of his trauma from there. So we're looking for something like what Shujin Academy was to Alice. We should keep listening. There's bound to be some sort of clue here. <laughs> Sir, try to keep your voice down. He'll be back any minute. Oh, come off it. Can you really blame me for complaining? I'm the one who has to read his crap every day. Uh, the kid's got motivation, but that's about all he's got. Seems any talent for writing in that family died with his grandfather. Oh, excuse me, can I get another Katori coffee? Yes, sir, just a moment. Well, he's still our little money tree. No way in hell we're letting him go. <laughs> You're terrible, sir. <laughs> what's... what's going on here? Ow! Damn, this shit hurts. Thanks to that, however, we've managed to hear a good amount. I didn't really get it, but... Uh, it sounded like some kind of cafe? Indeed. I heard one of them say Gatore Coffee. Right, Gatore is the name of a cafe chain. But I don't think I saw any around Sendai Station. If there aren't a lot of them, it'll make finding the right one that much easier. Well, at the very least, we've got a lead on finding the trauma room now. Right, let's get out of here and find us a coffee shop.
Navigator. Uh, being the navigator's my job. Well, where's that coming from? It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Huh, I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? All right. We'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, I've got it. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. It seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Call it whatever you want. You gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. Just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice... is it Natsume? It can't be. He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does, by some miracle, make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Here it comes. Talipus hack like you was hopeless! 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 This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya! Careful! It's using different weapons from last time! Nice! Let's go! Suck your hundred! Grab it, Jack! You know I said I was with this for the money. This shit is torture! Don't wait for a combo attack! Don't let it ram you! You better think about this! 
God damn it. Seriously? Gotta keep moving. I don't even know where he is. What just hit me? When it disappears, I don't want to be around. I might not like it, soon. These assholes who were using me the whole time, right? Yeah, I feel kind of sorry for him. They only chose him for who he was. Not what you want. They exist solely for us to win. What I can tell is that I feel like I'm gonna use up all of my it's fine. Well I I wanna keep it for healing though. Well, I'm gonna try oh crap. Of course he's summoned more.
A bit too slow. I'm getting hit. Probably not enough. Here. Oh my god, that did no damage. Succubus! High Pixie! With this! 
Persona! Come! Suck it! Andres! Let's go! Good night! Hey, Mr. Natsume! <laughs> you did it! The warden's down for the count! Whew. Well, I guess that does it. We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? Seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Those editors are horrible. They knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story, even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and Unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as you. Inari! It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. Atsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. Now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. What's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? Huh. He probably remembers our faces, though. I doubt he'd take anything from us. Hmm. What do we do? Be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would ya? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too, is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <sighs> hey, wait! Where are you going? It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you or anything! Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. It sure made things difficult. You didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkichi what he thinks. <sighs> sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. 
There's just one thing left to do. The only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? If you want my advice, you should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually, you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I've got to draw the line at breaking the law. Mm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? <sighs> Whatever. My point is, go with something simpler. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah, if we did it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. Uh, you kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah. You got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me. Yes. 